Hey everyone. So today I want to answer the question whether vegans or vegetarians could benefit from metabolic typing. I've been hearing that question a lot. So as a vegan or vegetarian, nothing about your diet, and that just means the way that you eat, and metabolic typing program changes other than the fact that you're not going to be consuming flesh proteins. And I think we know what that means, flesh proteins meaning chicken, deer, beef. So in terms of protein choices, you have different options and I'm going to circle them with this cute little marker. You have nuts, look right there, right? Nuts and seeds are both fat and proteins. You have legumes, you have tempeh and other fermented soy, and legumes are, are both proteins and fats. There we go. And dairy and eggs are additional good protein sources if you'd be willing to consume them. So if you're vegan, then you're not going to consume them, but I know some vegetarians do eat dairy. So as you can see, you have a lot of different options, okay? The important issue is getting the right macronutrient ratios. That's the proper balance of proteins and fats versus carbs at every meal. And that requirement is the same for carnivore, carnivores, meat eaters like myself, for vegans and for vegetarians, right? So it doesn't matter if you're a vegetarian or not you're going to have to figure out how much protein, carbohydrates, and fats your particular body needs. Everyone must do that for good health and to feel energy, to have a better mood, and to control your weight, okay? So this is not a fad diet, and as I've been saying, it's just a way to eat that is right for your particular body type. So when people talk about, you know, oh, paleo is the way or low fat is the way, it might be the right thing for them, but it doesn't mean that it's the right thing for you. And if you hear something in the background, that's just the puppy playing with his toys. So this rule applies whether protein comes from vegetarian, and that's the puppy, or flesh sources. It just doesn't matter. So once you've done your metabolic typing test and you get your results, you're gonna use your DCR, which is called your diet check record, as per the included instructions at each meal so that you can assure that you're getting the proper macronutrient ratios for your body's specific needs. And so I'm not gonna get into the diet check record or the macronutrient ratios right now. I simply wanted to address that question whether vegans and vegetarians could benefit from doing the metabolic typing test. I hope that this was helpful to you. Have an awesome day, you guys.